mask. Fans into it. And why wouldn't they be? Base is loaded. Two out, full count. Didol, a base hit. That scores one and will score two. And Didol with a chance and he'll slide in the second. C.J. Didol with a two RBI single and the Mavericks in front three to one. Well, Didol really getting a hold of that one and clutch, clutch hit for Didol. As that thing broke down, he went down to get two. He had to go down, but that wasn't far off his shoe tops by the time he got to it, but a real solid stroke by Didol. And with two out, the guys are going on the crack of the bat, able to score two. Huge. Didol with the biggest hit in this game, and it's third inning. And Connor Russell's night, and it's been a pretty good one, will come to an end as Brandon Newell goes to the product of Ohio State University, Paul Guy, in relief here with two out and two runners still in scoring position in the top half of the sixth inning. The base hit by Dido, cashing in Dotson and Brian Arthur. And a nice round of applause. Rightly so from the fans here at Alcatoz. Well, great work by Russell. Those five and two thirds. Gives up seven hits, three runs, strikes out five. Paul Guy comes on, six foot one, 210 pound right hander from Bellefontaine, Ohio. Just finished his senior season at Ohio State University. You see his regular season record and making his postseason debut. Guy's last outing came July 27th in a loss to the Melville Millionaires. Went one and a third. No runs, no hits, and a couple of strikeouts against Melville. Well, Connor Russell threw outstanding game. I mean, he was he was a pitch away. He was a pitch away from getting out of a bases loaded, not out and jam. But some good hitting there by C.J. Didot. The helmet off there to the left. 22 RBIs during the regular season for C.J. Didot. No two RBIs larger than the two that he just delivered. Well, what a potential swing of momentum. If Okotoks finds a way to get out of that. It's such a lost opportunity for the Mavericks. But instead, Dido coming up huge for his team. And Dido now with four runs batted in in the series. He knocked in a pair with a two-run home run in a losing cause at the bottom of the ninth in a 12-8 setback Tuesday night in game one of this series. And now an opportunity for the Mavericks and second baseman Colin Hetzler to provide some breathing room. Medicine Act can move on and become the first team to eliminate Okotoks in round one of the playoffs ever. And Guy's first pitch misses for ball one. Hard throwing right hander. Really needs to help his team get out of this. Good breaking ball. Hetzler, 0 for 2 in the game, didn't reach on an air back in the second inning. Fastball in the outside half. And the count even at 2 and 2. Worked the outside corner of both those strikes against Hetzler in this at bat. Takes the sign from procession. Fans in the ballpark wanted that one. They've wanted a few tonight. Full 
full count. And here comes the 3-2, and this is a big pitch. And Hetzler stays alive. I'm going to spoil that one. That curveball was about to drop in for a strike. Readjustment of the batting gloves for Hetzler. Out of Fort Worth, Texas. Tough play for Clark. Backhands it. And Olsen can't hang on at first. And make it four to one. Ah, tough one. Good work by Clark to get to the ball. Made a strong throw. Just in and out of the glove. Olsen. And errors continue. An error to the first baseman. Stetson Olsen, his second of the game. And Silva, the leadoff batter at the plate, looking for his first hit of the game. And still a runner in scoring position in C.J. Didot. You can feel the tension. 7 8 9 lost in the Western Division final, second round in 2010, and then lost the championship series in four games in 2011 to the reigning champion Regina Red Sox. This is foreign territory, and Paul Guy watched the bases loaded on four pitches. this point, Mavericks have played in three runs in the inning, and Mitch Fry with an opportunity with the bases loaded again to add to that total. Maybe, maybe an opportunity can to deliver a knockout punch yeah. right here. You get the feeling the way Shoemaker is going that the damage needs to be limited where it is at a three-run deficit. Fry takes a strike. In our opening of this telecast, we talked about Okotoks defensively. They needed to be better, and they haven't been. Ninth batter of the inning. Five errors last night on a couple of hops. This won't be easy for Rodriguez, but makes the play. Not before the Medicine Hat Mavericks score three times in the sixth. 